already friends have spoken, and so here is a quick no muss, no fuss how to on creating impression plates to use on your gel plate. Hello, this is P. And I am M. Mariah. Together we, we are, are PM, PM Artist Studio. Studio. Please note the easiest way to show your support is by liking and commenting below. Now, let's get started. All right, so you had pulled this out. The dino, it's Stompy Rocks. But oh, then you yes. ended up choosing Scribbles. Ah, uh, And yes. I know you still don't like that name, but that's okay. That's what the, and that, there's OG Scribbles. Oh my goodness, yes it is. Because you were kind of talking about how. I, I know, and I, 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 I'm going to talk about that some more on our live. But right now, yeah, that was not going to work because it was clogged. Right, and speaking of which, this is just to show you how we create the impression plates that P has been using, not only last week, but then we'll be also using in this upcoming week. I will link to last week's, and then once we have the other video, it will be available below in the description in the description box. So, just so you know, that this is purely on how to make the impression plates using the stencils, preferably ours, also available on Etsy and our website. <laughs> there, I've said all of that stuff. Okay, very good. You're looking for your paste. <laughs> I'm looking for my paste. Yes, I'm, I'm searching for my paste there. I, actually, um, yeah. And you were. I think you were trying to. You were contemplating I which I one you were going to use. I yeah. I thought about using my new experimental paste, but then I really didn't because I want. I, I wanted to make sure this was a for sure because we're running low on. Um, Light and fluffy. No. I, I ordered another one of those. I, I like to have one always in back. When I open one, I need to have one in backup. I have this yeah, yeah thing about that. Don't. But I wanted to make sure that this had nice loft, and I didn't. I wasn't sure about my new experimental yes. modeling paste, paste, which we'll talk more yeah, about. Yeah, you that. know, stay tuned on that one. Yes. We, we are very much in love with it, but the tried and true, light and fluffy, by the crafters workshop, we that know. is the yes. one to use and we have used with all of these other texture plates. Yes. So. Ab absolutely. Okay, what I'm doing there is I'm trying to line it up. This is kind of an important step because you want it to be as centered as possible because you're you're not going to have any sight lines for this when you're putting it onto a plate. So if it's centered, you know that you're going to be able to get the plate on the center if it is centered. Although I just had the most brilliant idea. We're going to try something out. Stay tuned. More ideas. <laughs> I, I, I would I would welcome them because this is is a bit of a struggle here. On how to, yeah, lining up things. You know, it's always a little bit tricky. And, you know, there's even things that you can buy, like little block type deals that keep you... Registration. Yes. Like trying to create registration marks. That's kind of one cool thing about creating these impression plates. Because, you know, once you do have this sort of in place, it is a little bit easier to use than just say straight stencil also a completely different effect and if it you... is it's more it, it, it's it's more like the ghost print that you pull yeah rather than your original print that's kind of the way i look the, at yeah, it yeah the general idea there and so um once you kind of have it in place then you can kind of get a little bit more or arty and things of that nature but when you're creating your texture plate your impression plate then you want to kind of center that up so that way you know what you're doing each time. Yes, so that you can get Because otherwise it. you'll go crazy. You'll get it. Well, it's, you know, and it, it just, you know, it's just paper, but you could, it could be something that you really, really, um, okay. Now, when you start this, if you start, you notice how I'm kind of starting, I'm going that stripe down the middle. Good idea. The reason is it's going to hold that <laughs> stencil in place while you, and, and see so you can let, lift up and it's not going anywhere right you kind of need a position swab that yes that <laughs> swatch uh, sw swipe swipe that that positioning swipe is really that's going to save you which is important yeah it is and what i'm doing here is i'm smoothing it out to the point that i'm trying to get it consistently at the same loft and that is it's not ever going to be exact but you that that's your goal and I do want a, trying to get a little bit more loft here than usual on a stencil. So I'm not scraping it down to the stencil. I'm leaving a lot of extra up there in the air. 
that's going to help you get a little extra uh, loft loft when you do and I see that I can't believe it right, am I gonna oh I pulled a little yeah there was kind a of a bump a that bump. was dragging <laughs> yeah that's that is a problem I'm ho ho and I do have links below for the 12 by 12 black chipboard we like this because you can see the stencil on it very nicely plus the thing is is like you know these aren't gonna last forever I mean I don't know who knows yeah. but this way you have something cool that you could even create journal pages or a cover journal tags all sorts of things ATCs we've used this black chipboard we just really really love it and as you can see the ones at the top there that's, that's some really cool effect just and that was one yeah, one pull. One pull. But, you know, and then that way if you get really attached to it, <laughs> you can create another one. Yeah, exactly. And I, I, I think that you should keep that in mind. Now, if you do want to add extra measures, now here what I'm doing is I am cleaning off that. That's the same stuff that was on there. I don't know why it took so long. I guess I was finding something. You no, know, you were trying to find a place to put it. Ah, uh, uh -huh. okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's always an issue around here. Yeah, there's never enough flat surface. Okay. Let us know in the comments below if you were such a person. We'd love to hear about that. <laughs> okay, that just made kind of a, a dull, dark print a lot more interesting. I wish I'd held that up a little longer. Yeah. I'll, remind me and I'll show everybody that on. Yeah. On the live. On the live stream. And I think you do bring it back the plate, but if you don't, I mean, here we are. We're going to run into the end. But I did want to show this. Just, you know, using I'm, your product. I'm still, still, this is the same, same amount. I have not, I didn't get any more out of the thing. This was what, what was scraped off the plate. To create that or, original. And I think, I, I don't remember, but I think I got three or four. Good. Quite a, few, quite a few. And that's the other thing that I like about the light and fluffy is that it it allows you the drying time to do this kind of manipulation. But still very quick, too. We, it, you don't want to leave it on your stencil. You do not want to leave it on your stencil. And that's, wash, wash, that wash. was what, yes, wash, wash, wash. Well, scrape, scrape, scrape. And scrub, scrub, scrub. <laughs> and do it right away. Don't wait for it. Yeah. Don't wait for it to be. Because once it sets up, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of Yeah, I've, I've kind of lost a lot of definition on my original. Yeah, especially in these more defined, like smaller, really kind of yes. dainty, I guess is the way to sort of look at it. It builds up in there. So you want to wash that off. Gel printing is a whole other thing. You can see that Mom P has gel printed with this particular stencil as well. And that kind of buildup is different than the stencil. Well, yes. The, the paste. The the paste, by virtue of the fact that it is the paste is much thicker and its consistency really grabs in those little surfaces and sets up pretty pretty quickly. Boy, I mean, when I get through scrubbing this down, I, I do check it because yeah. they can hang out in those little spaces and you're losing part of your your stencil when this happens. All right, so there we go. There was, a, I think, three wipe-offs. And I haven't even done the scrub-off. I'm not sure I do the scrub-off. No, I don't think you do. And actually, I, I'm pretty... Well, uh, the maybe. reason I'm not going to do this, if I do the scrub-off on this one, which I, I can't remember if I did or not, uh, is because this one, because it's design, the little sharp edges it there... They catches get, on the wipes. Yes, very. And that's what we mean by scrub off. Using a, like a baby wipe or even a paper towel or, you know, whatever it is that you want to use, kind of going through, and, and when it's damp, if you can get one more wipe through, sometimes more than that. Yeah, just depends. And and it creates a really cool texture. Just as she's, just as P's doing right here, it leaves some stuff behind. And it's just another way to, you know, extend your product don't ever just, you know, wipe all that off and then throw it in the trash. I mean, you can see you get miles and miles out of it. I think that's print number four there. I think, yeah. I think it is, yeah. Rubbing and I, I'm still getting the <laughs> still getting, some. getting stuff. <laughs> yeah, whoa. Well, I did you use a very, very thick, and I don't yeah. usually use that thick of a layer. But because I want, yeah, I'm done. I just put a little bit yeah. back in there, and that was it. So there you go. There that is go. how you create a texture impression plate 
then use all of the leftover, you know, rub off, wipe off yeah. on other plates and things. And so there's the ended up dried. The reason there's little smutsy bits there is because something crashed upon the top of it. Uh, that was not due to the stencil. This was more about location and but, space. But, you know, I, I've, been, I've been printing with an S just fine. You just have to smush it, give it an extra slap in that area. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that is uh, pretty much it. There's the stencil. You can see it's got some really great texture there, too. So, there we thank go. you for watching. Um, be sure to watch us on uh, Sundays. We, yeah. we do the live stream. If you haven't liked this video already, please do leave us a comment. We love those. They help us out greatly. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. And always... Don't forget to ring that bell. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oh my.